result really doesn't matter on a night like this, but uh, you should be proud of the way they played. I'm really proud of a lot of my players, I thought, to come here today and I was really shocked by the level of the quality of their starting eleven was, was exceptional. Um, but we show bits of really good play and, and from my point of view to to go down and to, to, to play the way we did, our goal showed our fluidity, their goal showed our naivety. Um, and they're things that we've spoken about uh, I'm disappointed over them they could have scored another one or two in the second half if you're being totally honest so there's little fragments of our play that are obviously still a little bit away away from what you want um, but from my point of view you come we played Friday Saturday Sunday and now again today we've played four games in five days I'm so proud of our players um, and, and to come here against listen everyone knows how good Roy is and how good his teams are this is a a very good Premier League team and we know we had to be at it to, to be anywhere near them and, and it showed you by the quality of their starting lineup. I think if it had been a cup tie you'd have got a standing ovation for many Oxford fans here to, <laughs> uh, here to see it. I think yeah. probably just got caught cold that first five, ten minutes of the second half where you changed yeah, second Yeah, uh, the problem you have are your players who've been sat watching and they only get half time to warm up and then obviously their, their side stayed the same and they were at the, at the pace of the game. We were not at the pace of the game all of a sudden you're 2-1 you down but then we got to grips with the game once again I keep saying it was critical. I don't like straight passes from midfield into back four into midfield. It's pointless unless you're going to come back in and go out quickly or be on the press. And we played into their press a little bit too much in the second half. But all the things have been working on. I'm seeing small glimpses of stuff that I'm, I'm enjoying. I'm seeing things that are, keep repeating itself over and over again that we've got to cut out. Um, but that's the whole idea behind playing pre-season games. Listen, it's a, it's a great opportunity for for, a, for a, a League One team to come. To Premier League ground that showed you that and we just to do what we did today was 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 really pleasing and like I say uh, thank 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 you to Crystal Palace as well because to beam the game live and, and allow it to be free yeah. and these are things that some people don't realize the class of Crystal Palace to, to, to not charge our fans to watch this game just shows you what type of football club they truly are and and that means a lot to our fans to see their players play um, and, that, and that connection between the, the people who support this club and the, team, the people who play for this club has to be strong even if it's through the eye of a lens um, but no I'm really happy with, with large part of today frustrated by some small parts but we've got another big game and we're what are we Seven, seven days, seven days uh, away from, the season, from, from, yeah. a, from a league, from a cup game, and yeah. we're, we're a few more days away from the first league game. So, yeah, it's getting closer, isn't it? And the uh, I can't wait, and it's it's why we do our job.